there will be times where we can see a renewed batch of downpours that can reach some of our western counties after the first round passed through in the afternoon and continuing to push to the north while this second area continues to lift in. The low pressure that was Nicholas is helping to churn the atmosphere plus the upper level flow allowing just an easier ability for the moisture to rise and produce widespread areas of rain. So what it means for us in our forecast and focus is yes, we will have areas of rain to track even overnight, but again, minimal storminess, but we can have some higher rain potential, especially along the coastal Big Bend going towards sunrise. And then even into the late morning and afternoon hours, one wave of rain goes through, another batch of scattered variety showers starts to pop, maybe a few thunderstorms to throw in there. So there's a good chance at least some point in time you'll have rain on Thursday. It could be while you sleep and it may just be maybe brief in passing, but there's a good chance that many of us will at least have some rain to measure during the next 24 hours. Could be just a little bit more rain, quarter inch or so. Could be higher amounts just depending on where you are and the timing of these heavier batches of rain that move through. Coastal zones, I think, have a little higher chance for higher rain accumulations. We've already had some around two to four inches in portions of the coastline of Franklin County, so additional rain is not going to be helpful and that could cause some flash flooding. No watches in our local counties except for Jackson. That's where the rain is more widespread and flash flooding risks, risks are a little higher. But we'll monitor that accordingly over the next couple of days because after lows tonight in the 70s and another day of highs in the 80s for tomorrow below average, we'll still have to deal with occasional rain, sometimes heavy, through the course of the next several days in our first alert extended forecast. So this is going to keep our highs capped in the 80s. Morning lows will stay mild, muggy, lots of moisture around, so lower 70s will be common. And we may be able to decrease the coverage by early next week, uh, but not really much of a chance for a clear, dry day anytime soon.